Hello children. Welcome to Ekdali Story Reading. Today we are going to be reading a book called What Happened to the Shawl. This is about an episode in Buddha's life. The story has been retold by Arvind Gupta and the pictures are illustrated by Deboshmita Das Gupta. And this comes to us from the house of Pratham. Okay, so let's get started. What happened to the shawl? One day, the great Buddha was taking a walk around the monastery. He was approached by a monk who wanted a new woolen shawl. The Buddha asked him, what has happened to your old shawl? It has become very old and worn out. So I'm using it as a bed sheet, replied the monk. The Buddha asked again, but what happened to your old bed sheet? Master, that bed sheet got old with use. It was worn and torn. So I cut it up and made a pillow cover out of it. See, he's made a pillow cover. But there certainly was a pillow cover before you made a new one. What did you do to your old pillow cover? Asked the Buddha. My head had rubbed a million times against the old pillow cover and made a big hole in it. So I made a doormat out of it, replied the monk in earnest. Okay, before I find out what happens next, let's talk about this word called earnest. Earnest means sincere. Shall we move to the next page? Okay. Gautama Buddha was not satisfied by this answer. He always delved deep into any issue. He asked the monk, tell me, what did you do with your doormat? See, he asks him, what did you do with your doormat? The monk replied with folded hands, Master, the old doormat had got totally worn out. After being used for so long, the warp and the weft had come out. So I took the cotton fibers and braided a wick out of them. Later, I burned the cotton wick in the oil lamp. See, the Buddha smiled after listening to the monk. And then the monk got a new shawl. Okay, so this is a story that talks to us about reduce, reuse and recycle. There's a page about why we must reduce, reuse and recycle and I'm going to read that to you, okay? We buy, use and throw away things without thinking much about them. We buy much more than we need. Our mantra seems to be buy more, throw more. We misuse earth's resources like water, trees, sand and soil and produce tons of junk that become mountains of garbage. But has it always been like this? Have we Indians been wasteful? No. History tells us that Indians have been very frugal and sensible. What does frugal mean? Frugal means not wasteful, okay? That we don't waste things. We believe that every object has several uses, not one, but many lives. The concept of reuse and recycle has been very deep, deeply rooted in Indian culture. This story is 2,500 years old, set in the times when the great sage and teacher Gautama Buddha lived. It shows a deep respect and sensitivity for the material world. It has many lessons for us. Okay, before we stop, stop the video, I want to ask you, what was the last thing that you recycled in your house? Take this time to talk to your parents about recycling and see if there's something in your house that you can reuse. Okay. Thank you, children. Thank you for listening to Ekdali Story Reading. See you later. Bye.